This video is brought to you by Practical Music Theory for the Rock Guitarist, my new book which is a comprehensive guide to all aspects of music theory necessary for playing rock guitar. From blues to the cycle of fifths, from understanding and using modes to choosing the right notes for a melodic solo, from pentatonic scales to chord construction and keys, it's all covered in a clear and concise manner. With accompanying video demonstrations, jam tracks and tabs, you learn to use the knowledge you gain in accessible ways that make sense for less than the cost of a few guitar lessons. Check out the link in the description for more details. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Um, as a guitar teacher, I often get inquiries from potential students, as you would expect. Um, and if the potential student in question is a child, then obviously it's going to be the parents that get in touch. And the questions they ask are always the same. Uh, you know, how much do the lessons cost? And how long are the lessons? How often uh, do we, does the potential student need to have a lesson? All that sort of thing. And um, one question, if it's a beginner that we're talking about, a ranked beginner, is like, so what guitar would you recommend for a beginner? Uh, he or she is interested in playing electric guitar, and uh, what recommendations can you make? Usually I get these um, inquiries in the run-up to Christmas, but there, there were, well, that many last year. Uh, where are we now? I'm currently recording this video in early February, and um, what I've noticed is it's after Christmas uh, this year that I'm uh, getting more and more of these inquiries and on that uh, topic of what guitars would I recommend for a potential beginner um, well there are a lot out there at the moment and um, you know that you can you're literally spoiled for choice nowadays for playable electric guitars with a price tag of less than £100, which is just ridiculously cheap. So what I've done today is I've collated what I think are five of the best um, for under £100. I've got personal experience of either owning or playing uh, several examples of all of these guitars. So this is, uh, you know, me giving you the benefit of my experience and, um, you know, what I think of uh, each of these guitars, some of them. It beggars belief that you can, uh, you, that you're not even into three figures for buying these. So here are my recommendations for five beginner guitars under a hundred pounds. Okay, let's get the obvious one out of the way first. Uh, Harley Benton, the ST20, uh, seventy-seven pounds worth of Strat copy. Um, I played a bunch of these uh, that have uh, belonged to students and. Um, they're not bad. I mean, you're never going to pick it up and think, oh, is this a custom shop strat? Of course you're not. Uh, it's built down to a price and uh, noticeably so. The frets might feel a bit scratchy and uh, the pickups may be lacking a little in definition. And don't even think about using the tremolo arm. But if you just want to um, hard tail the bridge and if you're prepared to just get a, some kind of polishing product on the frets, then you've got a solid beginner's electric guitar. Um, the frets may feel a bit scratchy, but one thing that you don't get with these, well, certainly on the ones that I've tried, is any form of, you know, sharp fret ends. And that's not always something that you can say about, shall we say, made in Mexico Fender uh, Stratocasters and, and other guitars from that uh, particular tier of Fender's uh, uh, hierarchy. So, you know, one of these, if you're looking for a, a reliable, solid beginner's guitar, and if you look at it, you know, Poplar Body, Maple Neck, Roseacre, or Rose I'm not sure how it's pronounced fretboard but that's like a thermally treated maple it's got decent bones a guitar like this you could probably grow it into something that's you know maybe um, a little bit more of a professional standard by you know essentially junking the hardware and electronics uh, little by little uh, the tuners on the ones of, of these that I've tried they're not spectacular but they hold tuning uh, reasonably well and you know for £77, you can't really go wrong, can you? Uh, let's move on to our next selection, uh, the Faisley uh, FST 118SB electric guitar in Sunburst. Now, just uh, a disclaimer here. Yes, I do have uh, a bit of a relationship with Bax Music, who uh, are behind the Faisley brand. This is not a sponsored video. 
uh, though, and I don't get any kind of uh, financial inducements from Bax Music. All that happens is occasionally they will send me some guitars to review on loan, and then I send them back. Um, except on one occasion where I, I was so taken with a guitar that I offered to pay for it, and they said, no, you can have it on us. So let's just get that out of the way, first of all. Um, but all of the Fursley guitars I've played have been, you know, they seem to punch well above their weight. This is, as you can see, another strap copy, um, sixty-nine pounds. And um, again, the, the examples of of these that I've played, the same sort of thing that I said about the Harley Benton guitars. Uh, don't try using the trem because it will put your guitar out of tune. The frets can sometimes uh, feel a little bit scratchy, but I've never had one of these that's had uh, sharp fret ends, fret sprout, um, fretboard. Yeah, on, certainly on one of them that I tried did feel a little bit dry, but these are all things that you can, um, you know, that you can solve with a, you know, a, a minimum of uh, hassle. You know, just get some uh, polishing product on the frets and maybe um, put some, um, you know, some kind of uh, fretboard compound on the uh, on on the fretboard. What's what sort of bones has it got? What's it got here in terms of um, right? So we've got. Um, uh, let's have a look. Uh, bolt on neck fretboard, a blackwood fretboard, um, basswood body, and it doesn't say what sort of neck it is, but I'm imagining it would be maple. Um, oh, am I just missing that? Anyway, but yeah, I mean, gone are the days when, you know, even a £200 guitar back in the 90s, you could pay 200 quid for a guitar and it'd be made of plywood. Um, you know, at least we're getting some form of um, timber that isn't going to delaminate, like um, has happened, uh, to my knowledge, on a, on a couple of uh, plywood guitars from back in uh, the 90s, 30-odd years ago. God, it uh, makes me feel old saying that. Anyway, so the Faisley, whatever it was, let's have a look, uh, FST 118 SB, uh, £69. Again, you know, it's worth taking a punt on, isn't it? Uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, I played a few of these. The LA Electric Guitar by Gear for Music. Again, another Strat copy. Um, just with a subtly altered outline there. Probably to keep uh, some uh, somebody in the legal department happy. Um, the one of the one of these that I played did have a really rather high action. I played three of these, um, and one of them had a high action. And when you tried to lower the action, you got a bit of fret buzz. But you know the other two didn't, so it's I'm prepared to give this one the benefit of the doubt. Um, let's have a look, see if we can find some specs for it. Uh, 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 specifications. Here we go. Um, uh, power. power Paulownia, uh, I don't know how that's pronounced, uh, but there you go, that's the body wood. Um, you've got uh, maple neck and an oiled poplar laminate fretboard. Hmm, rings a few bells that, uh, a couple of red flags there, but um, I'm still including this one in the list because the ones that I played, as I say, apart from one of them, uh, was a half decent guitar. Uh, tuners were okay, again, any of these budget strat copies just don't go anywhere near the tremolo arm you will live to regret it um pickups a little bit muddy sounding on this but it's going to get plugged into um you know possibly some sort of cheap uh black star fly amp or something like that you're never going to be plugging one of these into a, a mesa boogie rectifier are you well that, that might be a video to do if i can get my hands on that amp. um but yeah Again, it's a beginner's guitar, priced for beginners, and by and large, I think these, um, you know, will suit that market. So let's move on to another uh, budget brand, Glarry. I've had a few of these guitars, and um, you know, the one thing that that you always come away with from from uh, after playing a Glarry guitar is you think, hmm. I wish they'd sanded the neck just a little bit more. The neck does often feel a little bit rough. Uh, not uncomfortably so. You're not going to end up with splinters in your thumb or anything like that. But you just think, mm, a maybe just a bit of wire wool on it when, when you get the guitar. Just to kind of uh, knock it back a bit would be a good idea. But for 70 quid, you know, um, it does the job. This one comes, as you can see, with a gig bag. Um, and again... 
none of the things that you usually or traditionally associate with um you know kind of budget like extremely budget conscious guitars i've ever found uh, to be an issue with these i've never noticed any sharp fret ends um the, the couple of glaries that i've had um i've had a strat and a telly that i've uh, like owned myself and um, i played a bunch of them uh, that have belonged to students none of them have had any of the kind of fret bows sharp fret ends uh issues like that again the trem you're never going to use that tuners are okay and it you, you plug it in and it works and it's playable and you know that's the same for all of these guitars and for uh you know this kind of money i don't think you can really um you know complain at that there may be some um you know fine tuning setup issues that you need to take care of um but there's a whole internet full of information out there on how to uh, tackle those things for yourself and let's move on to what i think is probably the best of the bunch here um let's get rid of this uh, chat bot uh, the the best of the bunch here this east coast st2 deluxe hss roasted maple neck in vintage white let's have a closer look at it there it is there now yes you did hear me right roasted maple neck uh and look at that um you know that kind of i think this is the only guitar in this bunch here that has that um that kind of neck uh, that heel contour like that not that a beginner is going to be playing up that end of the neck anyway um you know out of all of the guitars here that have any kind of trem i suspect that this one is uh, going to be the one that might stand a fighting chance of staying in tune given the fact that it's a like a, a twin point trem although the, the traditional six uh, screw trem can be made to stay in tune with a little bit of uh, fettling um and yeah roasted maple neck let's go back to that for under a hundred pounds that is um you know astonishing i think what i've played one of these um again belonged to a student who brought it round uh who uh, paid more for it than this i think uh, my student actually paid the full price for it because uh, these are on sale at the moment um you know and i didn't know anything about east coast guitars and my initial impression of that guitar was this is this is a guitar that probably costs between two and three hundred pounds um you know it just had that slightly more refined feel to it um you plug it in and the pickups do a a reasonable job of what you expect from a hss strat um the humbucker on this guitar as i recall was um a little bit hot for my tastes but many people kind of like that as you can see you got the, the coil split uh thing there um and you know poplar body roasted maple neck roasted maple fretboard synthetic bone isn't that just, the fender do this as well isn't the synthetic bone when they're mentioning the nut material isn't that just a, a kind of fancy way of uh, saying um, plastic i think it is uh, as you can see ceramic pickups but out of all of them i think if you're wanting a guitar that you could grow into and maybe mod into something a lot more uh, high end then this might be the one to go for and it is less than a hundred quid so it bears thinking about and i'll put some links to all of those guitars down in the description uh, these are not sponsored links affiliate links or anything like that these are just my recommendations this isn't a sponsored or paid video in any way shape or form these are just the guitars that if you are you know starting out your journey on the instrument uh, that I think you could do a lot worse than check these out. And that is the video for today, folks. Hope you found that useful and informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it. Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5 p.m. UK time. We drink beer and talk about music and whatever, guitars, anything. Anything can and usually does crop up. It's a great way to kick off the weekend. And I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now